हरि ओम हरि ओम वेलकम टू दिक्स एपिसोड ऑफ अवर जर्नी स्वामी डॉक्टर बोर्ड ड्यूटी द वे वन शुड अप्रोच यू नो एंड वेन यू डू इट विद दैट कॉन्शियसनेस ही सेट सक्सेस हैज टू कम देर नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट आई i am agreeing that success can be defined by each one in a different manner but i think these are essential elements for any kind of success so i think we should you know uh, underline those value aspects so strongly when we connect to success uh, today swami ji when you talked about uh, last time about the loyalty and so much, and especially when you mentioned that many people will talk very high about uh, a program and you may feel very nice about it that is one part of it right there is another part of it which is uh, quite um, uh, it could pull you down you know it could pull you down people will say this will not work how can you think of it eh nothing somebody your manager could have told you 5 lakh uh, pieces we want and uh, you all could have told never it will work it is impossible it is not possible so there is a problem which we face on a daily basis on a daily basis we face this problem which is trying to pull us down and then you have other adversities you are ready with everything suddenly your production power is not there you are not able to you could have delivered it is not happening so this adversity is in life is a very common aspect of it how do we mentally what should we be thinking what should we be doing to overcome this hurdle yes very important point this is also elaborate but we will try to put one or two aspects of it try to dwell upon it as you rightly said everyone can contribute something for this the first and foremost thing to insulate us from the effects of adversities is to recognize first that all these things are part of the show when when we were born when we were born pain precedes deliverance so the like that anything anything requires some stress some suppose we try to accept this initially then we will be able to absorb the uh, so called uh, uh, onslaughts of adversities ah it's all right oh you was not there ah we will try we will try let us not get upset about it because if we if suppose we are in the, we are in charge of it and we become upset the whole thing will go down so we try to sit and fudge it's all right we will manage we will manage suppose when you give that the other person will find out some way is there any way to overcome this so that means you share the other stress in an indirect way with all people so that the stress on your head gets diluted and you will be able to move forward suppose i take everything on my head it will be a, i think it difficult for me i may not be able to think suppose i have a, a mindset where i accept that all these things are part of the show the fan i have collected connected it but some 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 something can go wrong when i switch off it doesn't work so many people are sitting and they become panicky they are become restless suppose i also become restless immediately i say it's all right i'm sorry you know it was not checked we will try to bring it out suppose a, a supplementary thing can be done so the alternatives you know, and these alternatives help us to tide over the problem later so then we realize the adversities are necessary for our success in life the more you can you link it with your own experience yeah when you started writing the alphabets it did not come straight away how many times we uh wrote we forgot we got and then it was corrected 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 
So perseverance, repeated performance, all these things will ensure to a very great extent that uh, success depends upon it. So adversity is when we say there are some loose connections. So it can happen. Correct. Uh, a human being is, sub is supposed to err. Suppose you, we start accepting it. These are part of the show. 99% it will go, 1% it can go bad. So everything is a part of the nature, part of the nature, part of the nature. We have seen many, many people, one, one incident, one couple, elderly couple, they were going uh, from some Pune or somewhere to Bangalore, Chennai for some marriage. They were traveling by train on those days, no doubt. As soon as they got up in the morning to get down, they found their uh, baggage is not there. Everything was in their baggage, not even an extra clothes. Somehow they were able to get down, take an auto rickshaw and go to the place and collect some money and then pay to the auto rickshaw. But he was very cool. Somebody asked him what happened. He said, it was there. Somebody has taken it. Somebody found more need for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the adversity which could have upset, which would have made him upset, you know, which would have created a lot of problems for others, mental problems for others, he took it lightly. And it is true, I'm all right, somebody wanted it, he had taken it, okay, instead of lamenting over it, instead of complaining, instead of grumbling, he took it lightly. So that is a reminder for us. It may not be possible for all of us to take it like that, but somewhere in the mind we keep that. Uh, somewhere in the mind we keep it that. There are so many such examples. Our master, Parabhuja Papa Swami Ramdas, in that particular quotation, reminds us this the world we live in is a school in which observation and experience offer us immense possibilities for self improvement. Nay, the world itself is Guru or God. So we take it, we don't take it casually. The experiences which we, he makes us to share, observe, it gives us a cushioning in our mind to face the adversities, not to be carried away by it. And faith in God, you know, because we, we, we attribute all these to the power whom we call as God. You know? the, God the, the, the power which has actuated our very life, which has actuated everything in the world. Suppose we develop some faith, that also gives us, ah, it's all right. Not that you will keep quiet, but you will not grumble or complain or make yourself miserable or make others miserable. When you become miserable, it will be distributed to everybody. Correct. Knowingly. <laughs> so when, when you don't lose the balance, the, you will make them to handle the adversities later. It is a proven, it is a pro, it is not a story, it is a proven thing that when we try to accept everything as they are, cushioning will be there, not that you will keep quiet. Well, one more incident that comes to our mind when we were in the estate management. During February, March, if, we, if there is no rain, we have to irrigate because the blossoming, blossoming is the one which is going to sustain us, our produce. So one year, it so happened, the water is there somewhere up and we are in the down and uh, no water. If we don't get rain in another 10 days time, we right. lose the crop. And there won't be any income. So on that day when we came there in, the, in our place, we called a person in worker, unlettered person. But see the, uh, we told him, can anything be done? We did not say you should do this. Can anything be done to bring that water here? He said, uh, he thought for a while, give me one day. I said, how are you? Don't ask me. Okay. Next day, by the evening when we came back from the office, he had almost reached, you know, what has he done? His commitment to this world. You, you have an adverse circumstances. We have to tie over that. But here again, the human relationship is very important. We are telling that our bonding was so close. So he started making a small canal. And when he when he directs the water, 
the, the, the soil will absorb, you know, it will not reach here. So he, he got some other device from the arachnid plant, and cut it so that wow. the water does not get in touch with the soil. And it slowly, you know, you're leading by about seven o'clock in the night. He saw to it that it comes to our pond. Wow. Fantastic. I am still, you know, this, this must have happened 40, 45 years back, but still very, very, very clear. And uh, if there was no electricity, so we told you get a Patromax. And uh, I was moved. I told him, tomorrow you do it. No, no. That is the commitment you made. So then I was wondering, uh, how did it happen? There is a crisis. So God-given crisis. We take it as a God-given crisis so that we know about the efficiency, an opportunity for the, uh, for the worker to bring out the efficiency in him. We, we did not suggest anything. Everything was he come from his own self. He tried and he devised his own method and finally succeeded in bringing a water which is far, far away to the pond very near to us. So the, that, that gave us a lot of uh, learning. Adversity can be uh, not sharing the adversity. Adversity so can important. be only by having a, a bringing so many people into the fold and then sharing with them can be managed, not, not imposing anything. So faith in God helps us. Our human relationship with others will help us. Our way of handling. If we are upset, <laughs> next year we are not going to have anything. I don't know what I am going to do. No? Suppose this is not going to touch and kindle. So the adverse circumstances can be managed by include, including more and more people in it. Sharing with them. And uh, if our relationship is very close, most important is human relationship. For anything and everything, we arrive at that point. The more we become sincere and closer to everybody, the cumulative effect of it will be something fantastic. Fantastic. They will not bother. You know, the coffee is after plucking, it has to be dried. 12 days it has to be dried so that the moisture content will be evaporated and it will be easy for us to hold it to separate the husk from the seed. So, on the 11th day, suppose the rain comes, another, another 10 15 days, the quality also will get stuck. At 12 o'clock, just imagine 11 o'clock, we find the clouds and it will be very, very hot. And workers have to go for their food at 12 o'clock. Suppose we go there, this is a crisis. It's a crisis, big crisis. But when we go there and sit, somebody sees what are you, we take the tool to keep it. You know? Then they, all the workers come there. And in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, everything from the uh, spreaded one, it is heaped, covered with uh, tarpaulin. Everything is kept in half an hour time. Even if they have to go by 11.30 or 12 o'clock, they don't bother. 12.30 or 1 o'clock, they don't bother. And they go happily. Then we try to compensate their their, their readiness to save the crop in some other form. They don't expect. So the, all these things make us to understand that adversities can be handled. Number one, faith in that power. Second thing is right relationship with all the people, not during the time of throughout our career. So that they will come forward to share your this thing and bring out and in that process it touches and kindles and brings out uh, capacities uh, creativity productivity in, in wow. uh, so many forms this, could no, be this is one aspect in handling the adversities this is a this is a fantastic um, I, I think this is a great uh, topic and the way you have told uh, has a different perspective, has a different dimension. That is, if I understand rightly, you are saying adversity is, normally we talk about uh, our own personal reaction and response to an adversity, but you are, you are able to say that the personal uh, response or reaction, you know, we will talk a different on a different day on response versus reaction, because that itself is a very big topic. But you are telling me that 
the response or reaction of an individual could be uh, managed if your your relationship with people and you accept that these are possibilities and be you know be able to talk to others and reduce that tension so this is this is something which is very very uh, special because normally as leaders we always think that any adversity any challenge we have to come with the solution uh, so this is a very very important element to what uh, you have talked one more one more one more i would uh, like to add we were drawing you know we were in the village areas right when we dig a well we have to draw water from this Correct. it is very strenuous Correct. we have a plank on which we stand it is risky also very difficult it's a crisis Every right. time when we take the water, we have to do like this. When the pulley was introduced, oh. then we your load is uh, shared. It gave us thinking. Oh. Don't handle it by yourself. Right. Bring any any other extra factor so that the load is lessened. It's a fantastic message. Is it's a great message, Swamiji. Thanks a lot for this wonderful uh, message today. That adversities or you know challenges need not be faced by the leader alone, but as a group uh, collectively. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Are you okay?